In this video, we will apply the tool of optimization on the average cost and we will try to analyze the average cost, try to achieve its minimum by using the first order condition and second order condition whenever or wherever necessary. So we are starting with the numerical instance of an average cost function. Uh, average cost definitely depends upon the output just like the total cost and this is the specific function q square minus 5q plus 8 now for optimization one needs first order and second order condition we already know by our knowledge of uh, optimization that the first order and the second order conditions are required so we start with the first order condition in which we need the first order derivative and in this case it will be with respect to q now we take the first order derivative we get this answer and uh, this would be the precise answer of it and we know that we have to put it equal to zero the first order condition requires that the first order derivative is equal to zero now the answer is 2q minus 5 and q status is equal to this 2.5 so we have found a certain value of q that can help us to achieve the minimum value of average cost hence we can try to optimize it now this is the critical value of q because we know that at critical value the optimization happens and the critical value is of the dependent variable uh, independent variable which is q in this case so it's good to have the critical values that is the value of independent variable at which the dependent variable will be optimized now we need to find out if we are actually at a maximum or a minimum so we take the second order derivative which is going to give us the uh, answer which is equal to 2 in this case so it's a positive value and um, it, it shows that the rate of change of slope is um, positive that it is initially negative then 0 and then it is let us write it and then it is positive so it means that there is an increase in the value and it's a overall positive phenomenon that we can observe here that it is positive so um, max minimum is achieved and uh, minimum is when the second order derivative is positive so now we can be sure that we are actually at a minimum by testing these results you can see that uh, the optimizing value would be 2.5 and for that we can put it in the given function because we want to see if the average cost is actually minimized or not so we did that the original function is taken let us uh, confirm that it is the original function that we have original AC function right and before it is q is equal to 2.5 and after it is we have 2.6 so we have experimented with a lower and a higher value just to see if the average cost is actually minimized at this level or not so when we experimented with a higher value lower value than 2.5 that is 2.4 the answer was 1.76 which is uh, higher than 1.5 5 it means that it is not the minimum and when we experimented with a value which was slightly greater than 2.5 that is 2.6 the answer was again 1.6 uh, 1.76 which is again greater than the minimum so 1.75 is actually a minimum and it is getting verified here by using the second order uh, derivative and its condition and then numerically experimenting with other values as well so if I just try to make this diagram this would be that value uh, that is 2.5 2.5 and before it there will be 2.4 and after it will be 2.6 so this is that point which is the minimum and uh, the minimum is 1.75 
so in this way we have uh, uh, used the tool of optimization in order to get the final answer of the average cost which is the uh, minimum value of average cost which was 1.75 and it happened at um, 2.5 as the critical value so optimization can be done by using calculus or for any economic situation it was average cost but you can experiment it for any other economic function uh, for example utility for example revenue etc thank you